Maybe you've heard of shark fin soup, the forbidden delicacy once beloved by emperors and elites, now banned in certain parts of the world. We'll get to that later, but today my dad's got a recipe that tastes even better than shark fin. Dried scallop and chicken soup. Unlike the former, this one is totally legal and very doable at home. First, we'll learn how to unlock the umami flavor with our key ingredient, dried scallops. Yongong where can you get good quality dried scallops? Also, scallop they have a small size, like a medium size, oh, yeah. a big size. The more bigger dried scallop is more expensive. Oh, this is a hundred dollar. One hundred dollars? How long does that last you? Does it expire? They did not tell the expired date here, but we since we we kind of use slowly, right? We put in the freezer. So you have to freeze it. You don't have to, but the quality will last longer. Dried scallop, or yu chi in Cantonese, is a common ingredient used in Cantonese cooking to infuse a fishy and umami flavor into a dish. While it is possible to make dried scallops yourself, you can buy them at most Asian markets or online. Due to their current gourmet status, some boxes cost hundreds of dollars and are even given as gifts to friends and family. It's also an extremely versatile ingredient, used in sauces like Cantonese XO sauce, in stir fries such as dried scallop and egg white fried rice, in congee such as our century egg and pork congee, and of course in soups like our today. Now we'll add some water to wash our crushed dried scallops. With the dried scallops prepared, my dad will show you a few tricks to cut and marinate the chicken. Our chicken breast was frozen and partially defrosted here to make cutting it much easier. We'll first cut the chicken into slices, then stack the slices and cut into strips. With the chicken cut, we'll marinate it with a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water, and to give the chicken a good bite to it, we'll add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. We'll continue stirring the chicken until the marinade is well mixed in. Now that we're done marinating the chicken, we can return to the dried scallops we've been soaking for about 10 minutes. Be sure to save this soaking water, as we'll use it later. We'll use our hands to shred the dried scallops until there are no more big pieces left. Now with both our main ingredients prepared, we'll start cooking. Mm. 
唔去唔去唔使去猛火，慢慢得啦，轻轻炒炒佢。咁佢啲干瑶柱咧，发出啲香味。After putting a dried scallop in, make sure to keep stirring to prevent it from sticking. Midori from Patreon asks, "What can I use instead of dried scallops? Can I use fresh ones?" Hmm, this is yao chu, just now you use it. Except you are other fish oil, then you can use fresh oil. Fresh oil is good. Fresh oil is good. Fresh oil is not called fresh oil. It is called fresh oil. If it is fresh oil, it is fresh. It is fresh. This flavor is sweet and sweet. It is not the flavor of the other one. It is not just the flavor of the other one. It is not just the flavor of the other one. It is also the flavor of the other one. 呢個湯冇代費嘅，冇。Speaking of other ingredients, you might be asking what's all the hype about shark fin soup and why was it banned? Originally from the Song Dynasty, shark fin or UT was seen as a sign of wealth and a magical delicacy believed to prevent heart disease, increase one's chi, and even boost sexual potency. For centuries, shark fin was only available to Chinese elites, but with the rise of the Chinese middle class, the demand skyrocketed to unsustainable levels in the late 20th century. The global movement against shark fin soup began in 2006. Featuring stars like Yao Ming rallying to preserve endangered sharks and stop inhumane practices, the campaign worked, and within a few years, many countries banned the sale of shark fin and inhumane fishing of sharks. Interestingly, shark fin itself is flavorless. Instead, the flavor in shark fin soup comes from the broth, and the fin itself is enjoyed mainly for the texture, which can easily be replaced by many other ingredients, such as vermicelli, mushrooms, or imitation shark fin made from gelatin. Our soup today, while not exactly an imitation shark fin soup, is a similar seafood banquet-style dish that is stirred. Hit the spot. Now, after 40 to 50 seconds of cooking the dried scallop, we'll add the water we saved from soaking it. Give it a little bit. Some gong yao chi, this soy. A gong gai tang. We'll add one can or 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth here. And then, you add the water. Six to eight cups of water. We're adding hot water here that my dad already boiled, so that it saves us some cooking time. Good. You boil it. 呢、这個時候咧，我就開生粉咯。我哋咁大煲湯咧，我諗要俾六至八嘅湯匙生粉，先揼埋得到個圈。咁多啊？係啊，啲圈要打埋結啲噶嘛。如果唔夠再落。嚇！我 mix our slurry with six tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water。打個圈埋個圈時候，如果唔夠結，咪再落啲咯。我冚冚佢。呢個時候咧，我哋攪攪勻嗰啲雞肉先。滾啦！如果滾咗之後咧，將佢慢慢熄翻火焗五分鐘。焗五分鐘之後咧，佢啲光瑤柱嘅味就出曬嚟啦。呢個湯就好飲啦。I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to Patreon.com/MadeWithLao to learn more. 嗱，如果開翻火啦，睇下先嚇。After five minutes of letting it sit, we'll turn the heat back on. 嗱，而家啲光瑤柱，系煮得好靓咯，系嘛 ？Here are two subtle things my dad does while adding the slurry to get the perfect soup consistency. 我哋而家开始埋个圈啦，开到最慢，甚至散埋火。埋圈嘅时候最紧要呢样嘢唔好开猛火埋圈。如果开猛火埋圈咧，佢就一下就一嚿噶啦。睇我点？嘅时候咧，慢慢嘅下边搅住佢，佢将佢啲粉咧就唔会喺个底下去晒啦。我喺下边搅啊！喺下边搅。We'll slowly pour in our slurry while mixing the bottom of the soup, paying attention to the consistency. 差唔多够结啦。嗱，我哋个开翻火嗬，睇下佢够唔够结吓。How do you get the right soup consistency? 打圈嗰时，你见个湿熄咗火先嘛，系。搞到佢你认为系够啦，你就唔好再落。我将佢再去结啲，再搅啲粉落去咯。Can be thick, can be little thick. It's up to you. 再结翻少少。My dad doesn't think it's thick enough here, so we'll mix some additional slurry together with a half tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. You now you can't just pour the soup like this. No, pour it like this. You have to pour it like this. Now it's okay. What's next? Pour the soup, pour the flavor. 啲鹽一個茶匙，好多人咧俾生抽調味，我今日咧就用魚露一個茶匙，老抽俾個茶匙，學佢唔夠色，睇下夠唔夠卡拿先，可以再加啲
We'll add another teaspoon of dark soy sauce here. It's up to you how dark you want this soup. Once we have our desired color, we'll have a taste test. We'll make sure the oil is well mixed into the chicken before putting it into the soup. What else can you add to this soup? Wow, that's really, really fancy soup. Mushroom. <laughs> Once we've let the chicken cook for 40 to 50 seconds, we'll continue adding seasonings. We'll add about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. We'll continue stirring the soup so all the seasonings are mixed in well. Then the soup is ready, except one more thing. Once the dark soy sauce is all mixed in, we're ready to transfer the soup to a bowl and hear about how this compares to shark fin soup. So this is like a really fancy thing then, like only for really special occasions. Before we always have a, a shark fin soup, wedding, banquet, birthday party, they always have this. Thing. When I was a kid, I remember it. I remember seeing it in Chinatown, the shark fins. But this tastes like the old shark fin soup. Yeah. Similar. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right.